I'm gonna walk you through a little bit about CT scans of the chest and the aorta. And this is an educational video. If you have questions, please post those below. This is part of the Healing the Heart course. I teach this course on my school, Thinkific Mitchell MD. You can find everything there. There's tons of free stuff as well as uh, private Facebook groups and other things that may interest you. But let's dive into this topic. And I'm not sharing anything private because this is actually my own CT of my chest. So let's go. So we're just walking through in rapid fashion. Lungs, spine, spinal cords in this area here, obviously lung, and uh, these are not nipple piercings. These are wires from uh, EKG monitoring, etc. This is uh, my in-hospital CT imaging after open heart surgery. So you can see uh, this is the uh, uh, breathing path pathway, the trachea. These are pulmonary vessels coming out here. And this is not calcium. This is the beginnings of the aortic graft that I have inside my chest. You can see it is still quite a, a bit uh, prominent there. We'll go a little farther down here. Um, these are the uh, uh, airway passages deeper down into the lungs. Uh, this is my sternum that was uh, cleaved in half. You can see it's a little bit asymmetric here where the um, fracture is that was created with a surgical saw. And uh, down a little farther, there's more of the graft there. This is not calcium, but this is what calcium looks like on a CT scan of the heart. So if a person's having a scan done to look for blockage, it shows up as bright white, uh, which is calcium, as you can see here with the, uh, the ribs there. Here's a whole bunch of fluid uh, in my lungs as a consequence of the surgery. A little bit farther down and getting down to the lower parts of the heart, a little bit of fluid around the heart, which is fairly common after this type of procedure. And you can see the sternum there. And will your wife under? And we'll go back up a little bit here. That's just the nurse talking. And so you can kind of scroll through this. This is what the radiologist does when he reads these with the cardiologist. And uh, you can see, obviously, there's a bit of a discrepancy in how the bone is. A little bit of uh, surgical wires there and a whole bunch of crud in the lungs, fluid, blood. I've got chest tubes in it and a variety of other things. So anyways, um, so just orientate you, pectoral muscles, uh, ribs, sternum, lungs here. These are little bits of blood vessels in the lung and fluid. So let me know if you have questions. Uh, subscribe, like, share, and the course is completely free for anybody who has facing open heart surgery loved ones, family members, and friends. There's thousands of people from around the world in this course. It's really fascinating to see the statistics, but if you find value here, I appreciate it. Thanks.